Why are we here? What's life all about? Is God really real? Or is there some doubt? Well, tonight we're going to sort it all out. For tonight, it's the meaning of life. This is a brief response to one of the Infinite Hope's most recent videos. In his rebuttal of Phil Helena's The Lie Too Big for Creationists, The Infinite Hope considers the notion of evolution as a guided force. The Infinite Hope begins by framing uh, this claim as a philosophical statement, not a scientific one. From this point, he then delivers this verdict. Any Christian who believes in evolution must automatically regard this process as a guided one. Though I do agree with the infinite hope on some counts, his final conclusion is one I hope to dispel in this video. To the question of evolution as guided or unguided, the answer boils down to philosophy. For atheists, such as myself, evolution is naturally an unguided process. But for Christians, such as the infant hope, whose God is a guiding force by definition, evolution would fall, to some extent, under a god's control. This whole issue is dependent upon very simple attitudes toward god. The notion of evolution as guided is incompatible with atheism, which stresses the non-existence of guiding gods. For an atheist to concede to evolution as guided, you would first need to convince him or her that gods are real. It is not enough, the infinite hope, for you to tell me that evolution is guided without confronting the root of the matter, i.e. why I don't believe in a god. Now, the infinite hope is correct when he highlights guided and unguided as unscientific in this context. When we engage in discourse on gods and their roles, we stray from science into the domain of philosophy. The term guided, after all, alludes to a god in this scenario. As such, the clearest way of viewing evolution would be to explain the process scientifically, thereby avoiding any misleading philosophy. Even so, philosophy is the only tool with which I may address the Infinite Hope's claims, by his own reasoning. Now that we have a level playing field, I assert that the presence of a god does not automatically render evolution a guided force. To demonstrate this, let me use one of the Infinite Hope's own scenarios. The Infinite Hope proposed that God, quote, may have created the amoeba and let it all roll from there. Let us assume, for the sake of argument, that a God exists. And let us suppose that this God was responsible for the formation of life billions of years back. The Infinite Hope's statement of letting it roll from there implies that evolution by natural selection is a given. This in turn hints at no future intervention on the part of the god, allowing life to evolve of its own accord. If said god has allowed evolution to take place on its own steam and resources, then evolution still remains an unguided force, even with God in the picture. Ergo, 
The existence of a god does not make evolution a guided process by default. <laughs> you would all remember the last time I discussed the Infinite Hope's claims on YouTube. I do expect another backlash from this, but I assure you that I am not criticizing the Infinite Hope as a friend or as an authority on religion. I am only challenging his stance on evolution as a guided force. I hope this video has been enlightening for some of you. Thank you.